Welcome back to another Family Flips unboxing. And today we are at VIA Trading in Linwood, California. And I'm excited. So what we've got going on today is a competition. I know y'all like those between Jessica and myself. I don't want to think about that competition because it stressed me out. I don't do time tests very well. <laughs> she was freaking out. I was so man. stressed out. <laughs> mm, that's a big pellet. He's going too fast. He's going too fast. Manifested. Dadgum it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazy. But we've got a couple online retailers and big box places that we are unboxing today. She's got sporting goods with a couple toys mixed in. And I've got home improvement items that I'm going to be boxing I think is going to win. I mean, my thing, I might win. I don't know. It's a gamble. It's a bigger gamble. He's got kind of a surefire, like it's a really good like palette. As long as everything's in the condition it's supposed yep. to be in. Uh, but these, like for example, like this box up here says Men's Wrangler, and I took a peek, and there's something cardboard in there, not Wrangler. They're not jeans, y'all. Jeans. So there's a good chance that a lot of this stuff that's in these unmarked boxes could be something completely different. That's or it could, more. it could be completely junk Don't at the same that. time. Don't say that. Right. But keep in mind, I paid seven hundred dollars or six ninety nine for this palette. Jessica's got six hundred dollars for hers. And the winner is gonna be determined by how much retail value is in these pallets. Keep in mind, they are customer returns. So the items could be completely brand new, could be complete junk. We're not gonna inspect everything for the simplicity of the video, but we know for resale purposes that the proper resale value will have to be determined by inspecting all these items at the same time, but we're not doing that today. Retail value wins the race today. So keep in mind, we will not be pricing these. For those regular viewers on our channel, we are not pricing these for how much we could possibly get for it, like we usually do, retail value only. So, oh, you know what? What? <laughs> so, since I'm not to be trusted with right. the, with the really big uh, knives oh, <laughs> via trading, the they VIA gave me a baby knife. one for right? safety. They <laughs> All those YouTube mamas out there, shh, you don't have to worry about her today. All right. Okay, well, I don't actually think I need this for my first one because I'm just going to I guess the box. I'm going to go. I've got a lot more to unbox than you, you do. So I'm you do. I'm going to try to book it. Oh, it works really nice for a little tiny knife. Can I have this? Can I take it home with me? <laughs> You're going to have really to check like it, it, Jessica. I'll, try, I'll put it in the check bag. It's fine. I don't like the way this looks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. What? oh lordy. I gotta. Ah. Oh. Why are you gonna hit me with that, bro? What is it? I think it goes with this uh, truck right That's here. That's been used? Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> if we were back in Arkansas, Lucas would love this right he here. He wouldn't even care if it worked. I think it's a, I a know. remote control. I know. Is the remote in here? We took, I took him to yeah. see uh, Monster Trucks a couple years ago. That dude was in love. Anyway, that's your stuff. I'm going to mine. <laughs> Sorry. Because mine like, looks way what do better I do with it? than yours. Let's so, see. So we're determining the value on these based off of the retailer that it comes from. Uh, to keep it simple. There's an app that you can download for pretty much every online retailer, big box store. I would get that app, uh, download it, and see what it's worth. But my first item, we've got this Newtone Light, Braun Newtone, $199 retail value. Granted, this one's in rough shape, so it will have to be inspected uh, to determine resale value, but retail value, 200 bucks, and we've got one, two, three, four, five of those suckers on there. So already, I'm set at $1,000 retail value. Whatever. And Jessica's just got a pile of... Uh, well, hey, look, this truck foot. is 60 bucks, okay? A cute pineapple notepad. I need you to stop touching my stuff. 398 is what that one's worth. <laughs> How are you doing, babe? <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, you're gonna be so. <laughs> I don't even know what this is worth. Eight fifty. Two hundred bucks. Eight dollars and fifty cents. Four hundred dollars. Six hundred, babe. You're dealing with. How much was 71. that one? You said. Eight dollars. Eight hundred. A thousand bucks, just like that. Eighty-eight. And. Ninety-three. <laughs> 
you counted over there? Listen, I got too many items. Oh. 96. There we go. This, this one's good. super sweet, this LG microwave. What is this? Oh, that goes oh it's on thing. sale right now. Can I use the real retail value or the sell price, Jessica? I'm using sell price on mine that are marked. 200 bucks, another $200. I'm at $96. <laughs> I'm at $1,200. It's not looking too good for you, babe. Oh. <laughs> now, did you say $96? Is that what you said? Yes, $96. Oh. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. I'm going to be in so much trouble after this video for talking so much smack. So oh, that's sweet. Uh, Y'all see that? This Milwaukee backpack sprayer. One thirty. And, oh, it's got the battery in it as well. Those are worth way more than the ones without the batteries. I can't believe they're still doing Hot Wheels cars like this. <laughs> like, I cannot believe they're still doing that. I'm enjoying myself anyway, okay? Jessica. I need somebody to remember my memory. Every item that I have unboxed so far has been $200. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. I know. Happy to you. We're at fourteen hundred bucks now. Meanwhile, I found really cool <laughs> Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, and that little cute pineapple notepad that you can write with. I mean, yeah, somebody will like it. Okay, invisible, invisible box, not invisible box, box with no nothing Ooh, on it. Ooh, that looks exciting. These are my favorite, and it's heavy. But looks like I've got two of these right here actually they're different but they're both ryobi uh ones that what's going on babe i'm just waiting for you to finish how are all those boxes that you thought could be worth a lot of money ventilator the <laughs> battery charger that's cool battery charger. cleaning pads jessica this is a cleaning sippy, pads sippy cup just one though. We don't we don't need the pair. Because I mean you only have one mouth, right? So you just need one, obviously. 360 extender, duster extender. Oh. Tire gauge. $109. We're at fifteen hundred dollars. Antenna? I don't know when you need one of those. Interior detailer wipes. Good lord. Hmm, there's that. Rotor rooter. Another hundred bucks. Letters and numbers. Oh my gosh, this is a bunch of stuff, dude. I will say though, because some of you at this point may be looking at the palettes and be like, man, Joe's palette is so much more awesome uh, than Jessica's because of the value of the items. And that really depends on, for us, what type of, how you plan on selling, where do you sell? Because if she has like a small discount store or like a flea market booth, a lot of this stuff it's gonna sell well in that in that store. Same thing for mine. I could have that in my store as well, and it would sell well, but it really depends on the type of store that you have to sell in. Okay, the screen protector's opened. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. What is it? It's the biggest thing of cleaning stuff that hey, I've ever seen. You know what though? People need it. It's fresh pine, it's like a, two gallon or three gallon container of like generic pine salt. Okay. I think I got it. Oh, this is two separate ones. Okay. I don't know what to do with all this at this point. <laughs> I'll help you scan it. I just had my first item under $100. But you've got at least to have a hundred. Ooh, is that an Xbox remote? That's cool. That's almost a hundred bucks right there. Let me sort through my mess. <laughs> I'm at seventeen hundred bucks though. I forgot what I'm at. Dang it! I might need to remember. It took me some time to get through these boxes, but with these two boxes, I've got the the car. Right, that was about sixty bucks retail. This is thirty-five retail, and then I had this Xbox controller also, which was sixty-three dollars retail. So that including all of the stuff that's on the bottom, the smaller stuff and things like that, which if I had a smaller retail store would be really great stuff to be able to have. Um, that puts this at a total of 422 retail. So really, okay, you have all these big boxes, 
they're all really high price and high value but you also have to think i mean these two boxes really covered two to they three did. of yours they did so maybe i'm not winning by I mean, as much as i thought i was but that all depends know. on what's left in this right? palette. i've got some bigger items if they're not as high value as it's, some of yours my palette's like a third of the way done already um I'm a little nervous, but I still think we're gonna pull it out. Let us know in the comments at this point and in the video, who do you think is gonna win this competition? And don't you guys wait until it's over and then put your comment in, that's cheating. <laughs> that is cheating. Although uh, no one would know, but still. No one would know. They don't <laughs> do time, that's what YouTube should do, timestamped comments. I'm gonna pull these up here. You're going. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got a lot of work to do. My palette has a lot of stuff. <laughs> You do. I don't even know where to start. There's, I think I'm going to start with this one right here. I saw this whenever I was picking out the palette yesterday and I thought it was a Titan uh, paint sprayer and it is a Titan paint sprayer. And these dudes are expensive. Uh, even if it happens to be used, they still have great resale value, but we're only looking for the retail value. I've got this two burner camp stove we need right that. here. I know we do. No, we don't. We already have one. I know, but, but I like camping stuff. It feels pretty good. I mean, the box is a little bit damaged, but it feels good. I'm not going to inspect it. I've got 10,000 things to do here, but uh, this is this one right here is around $40 retail. Oh. What? on sale for <laughs> clearance. They used to be $289.99, but now it's only $99. That's a bummer, but that just goes to show that you never know exactly the value of items on your palette until you start going through the palette and figuring out which each item is worth or potentially worth, because I thought this was a $300 paint sprayer. And now it's only gonna be a hundred dollar retail value paint sprayer. Wah, wah. Maybe your palette is looking good. I don't know. I mean, I don't we, know. It's still not. It's it's funny to me that you are disappointed that this is a ninety nine dollar paint sprayer when I'm like, see, I got two thirty dollar <laughs> items right here. So I don't really. Thank you for putting in perspective. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Because I've got this polisher here and I've got this fan window fan set. These are both thirty dollars, and of course the camping stove right there uh, is uh, so is forty. So and excited. I'm like, yeah. Right. She's excited over thirty dollar items. I just got the least expensive item so far at $39.97. But if I was to sell the sucker, especially in our store, it would sell super fast because it's a job site speaker. I'm going to save these for later because my my tactic is that at some point Joe's going to finish his palette and he's going to help me go through these ones with the small items. So I'm just going to put it to the side. And then he's going to be like, hey, do you need help? And I'll be like, yeah. And I'm going to pull out these small ones. Ooh, another mystery box right here. Looks like we've got another job site speaker for me. And I have a guess, this is probably around $25 if I was to guess, because it's the mini one compared to the other one. Oh, $19.97. And then we've got this medicine cabinet right here. And y'all probably can't see it, but these, you know, medicine cabinet with a little mirror on it. It goes in the wall. You can put all your stuff in there. Oh, oh, it's stuck. $119 though, 119, 119, sweet. You've got so much stuff over there, Jessica. That's so good. There's so much stuff in there. I know. They're fun to look at. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so there's like a seascape, um, eight foot wide pool. I've got two of these baseball trainers. These don't feel like anything super more than plastic, so I can't, I'm not expecting much. But then I also have this bounce house with a built in pump. Let me see how much this one's worth. It's on the bottom of it. All right, let's see. 
sell so fast in it our would. store? It would. This goes, th yeah. we actually had one not too long ago. We would post, uh, in our store we sell a lot of retail items on our uh, Facebook page and uh, we would post pictures of it and that would sell pretty quick. Oh, five dollars, so 75. I've got two, case of, two cases of these nails, uh, roofing nails, at $80 a box. So that's $160. I've got this commercial grade water hose right here. Another $50. Another 50 bucks, that's crazy. You know what's crazy? That's $50. This is 45. And you got two of them? Yeah. Wow. I did not, oh, because it's one of those step to release. Okay, I see. Oh, it is, yeah. okay. So that's crazy. Yeah. So that's and, uh, I've got a toilet thing, and I know that we said we weren't going to inspect it, but I saw through the top of this box that this one has been previously installed. As you can see, all of the stuff on there, and it's completely busted on the side. So it doesn't matter what the retail value is. This is complete junk. It's zero dollars. Like there's, I mean, you could park that stuff out and take it out and sell that. But that's it. This is nothing right here. And that's a bummer. But that's the part and the risk of buying liquidation is that, especially when it comes to customer returns, yep. is that you don't know the condition until you unbox it. That Yeah, the, the name brand American Standard is a great name brand, but name brand when it's broke is still worth zero. So I had the uh, the two baseball trainers, the uh, bounce house, and then this this pool right here. Right, so that combined with all of this, that pretty much got me to seven hundred and twelve dollars. So I paid six hundred for the pallet. So not including any fees or anything like that that I would need. I'm technically, I've got my money back. So the rest of this, I mean, I'm gonna do okay. Even if I don't beat Joe, uh, if I bought this pallet and I knew how to move all this stuff, I might be okay. Cause I've still got so much more. There's a lot of, there is a lot of stuff on this pallet. Oh, a volleyball net. Volleyball net. That's a pull float, but that looks to be a used pull float. Um, it, it, I think it has been used. Yeah. Um, that's why I had to open, I wanted to open it up to check and see. Uh, I mean, it's only a $20. Right. Pool. I'll give you the 20 bucks for it. I mean, I wouldn't make uh, 20 bucks right? off of it. Uh, but so lucky for you, we're going off a of retail value and not resale value. I mean, I had to open it up to make sure it wasn't shredded because I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, taking yeah. the $20 if there was obviously like a hole in it or something like that because it had been opened before. Um, but if it could have a small hole in it and be worth nothing. It very well could be. Or it could be nothing wrong. We're about, I'm about halfway done. We're not. She still has a lot left. I still have a lot left as well. But so far, all of these items, $1,880 retail value for mine. And that's including the toilet thing that was completely broken. That is $0 for us. But the most expensive items, we got a bunch of them at $200. The least expensive item that I had was $1,997. So retail value, $1,880. And I only paid $700 for the pallet. So potentially so far, it's $1,180 over retail value so far, which is a pretty good pallet. Um, how about you, Jessica? Well, okay, so mine, for one, mine is a lot more work than Joe's, right? Because it's a lot of smaller items, but I've been pleasantly surprised with some of it. So, you know, I didn't get any super high value items. A lot of my bigger items are between 30 and $40, right? But I did have that truck that's, I think in this one here, it's like $60 retail. Of course, it's used, so I wouldn't get that much out of it um, if it worked. But I did have the camping stove, the baseball trainer. I had two of these baseball trainers. I did have um, an Xbox controller that was like 60, I think it was $63. But majority of the bigger items are 
probably around $34. So it's slow going, but I did pay uh, $600 for this palette and I'm already at three, 793 retail value. So, you know, and I still got a whole lot more to go. I don't know what's in this palette. Um, so I would not call it a loss. I'd call it a lot of work. Uh, but if I had a small, a way to sell these small items, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm happy with the palette. Like if I were to purchase it on my own. So that's where I'm at. We've got a lot left to see who the winner is. So stay tuned, keep watching. And if your vote changed, you think still, if I'm gonna be the winner, let us know. Or if you still think Jessica's gonna win because she's got a lot of good looking items left in her palette. I do too. Uh, I still think I'm gonna pull it out. We'll see. Okay, <laughs> this is so light. Oh, this is not, this is not cool. You know big box is lightweight. Don't I work. know, I know. This giant skewers. <laughs> and one bent, what is this called? Windshield wiper. One bent will windshield wiper. That's fantastic. I love it. I've got, I don't know if what, what it says is in here is actually in here. So I'm about to find out. That looks interesting. It is. Okay, we got a suitcase. A little little kid suitcase. It's brand new though. Brand new. It's got the tag on it. Maybe that'll give me something. <laughs> I've got a uh, wet dry vacuum. A six sheet micro cut shredder. Alrighty. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm and still fighting tape over here. There's a so one burner tape. kitchen hot stove. Put ice piece and see what we got here. Alrighty, the shredder, $48 retail. What? I was For a shredder? That's what it says, $48. But don't worry, I'm shredding you in this competition. I got that there. Alright, there we go. I was fighting tape. It took me a minute. Didn't have to fight you anymore. I love how you're like, oh man, that's under $100. And I'm like, this suitcase is $80. Yeah! <laughs> this is light. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure it's in there, but it's light. Oh, yep, it's there. It was just super light. And it's going right round. Right round, baby, right. Oh wait, maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't have to write to that song. Right. That was 20, the camper stove was 20, the uh, suitcase was 80, and then I've got that, that shredder there. So that's not bad so far for me, for me anyway. <laughs> My and that word. is uh, $30, $29.68, $30. So, I can oh, take it. Oh, this one's not them. Oh, sad day. I know, oh. I know, oh. I know, not found. Oh, I got something in my eye. You trying to sabotage me? I didn't do that, you did that. No. There's no price on these skewers, but they can't be very much. So I'm just but gonna huge put skewers. a pass on those. Uh, okay, I gotta so, do that. I couldn't find the exact one on this. They range anywhere from 60 to 100 bucks. For Jessica's sake to help her not feel so bad about getting absolutely demolished, we're gonna go on the lower end at 60 bucks, but I'm pretty sure this is a $100 version. I hope I didn't make a $40 mistake. Watch her win by like 40 bucks now, or like by $20. It would be my luck. I'm trying to math and you can talk. <laughs> is that good for me or bad for me? I have no idea. The big whirly bird right here is 115 bucks. So adding on another $175 to my 1880, we are now over $2,000 retail for this pallet. We've got one oh, Wagner steamer, two Wagner steamers. So two times another $145 a piece, that's $290 added on to my stuff. And there's so much stuff still on my palette. Oh, that bathroom, man. It makes my brain 
thing explode. Math can get you. Oh yeah. When I don't have you to just do the math for me, right. I can do it myself. So I love these new tone lights because people are always remodeling their homes and bathrooms. Uh, and they always have a good resale value uh, because the retail value is just way more than I thought. I've never had to remodel my bathroom before. Um, <laughs> I don't so when I check these prices for stuff, I'm like, holy cow, why is this so much? They don't want to give me the price very easily. So this one says pay $144 after my $25 offer if I get a credit card. So I'm thinking it's $169. After I'm over you here. Get a credit card? Yeah. I'm over here putting up, pulling out $100 bills every time I uh, I pull out the box off the pallet, and you are uh, getting like $5 heard, bills here. Have you ever heard the story bills. of tortoise and the hare? What about my hair? Sometimes slow and steady wins the race, Joe. Right? You can't, what is the other one? You can't count Another your basket bucks. before your eggs hatch. Can't eggs I'll, I'll, count I'll, your uh, eggs before they hatch. Right. Don't put all your eggs in one. It's fine. It's fine. You know what I meant. Let me do the math here. Uh, Eighteen eighty plus uh, two hundred ninety dollars is uh, twenty uh, twenty one eighty, and then we've got uh, one hundred and fifteen. Is there anything 2, in here? Four hundred. Twenty-four sixty. I don't think there's anything in this box. Twenty. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh. oh. Twenty-six seventy-five. Water dispenser. Two thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars. All right. That's fine. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I also have. What did I miss? Go away. Nobody's what did talking. I miss? Nobody's talking to you. I know. That's why I'm trying to figure out what happened here. I didn't think there was anything in this box and some tiny little water dispenser. Oh, it's came heavy. Out. All right. So twenty-five sixty is where I'm at so far. I should probably write that down so I don't forget it. Here goes another. Oh, hello. Sometimes I almost had a bad joke and. I probably would have gotten in fine. trouble, so I'm going to repeat it, it's but fine. some people were like, what is it? I got a $3.90. na 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 I'm loving it. <laughs> Mystery egg plush that's been opened and taped back shut. <laughs> um, I guess they did like mystery. <laughs> LED lights. The mystery's gone. They, it they're is. like, well, now I didn't get what I, I didn't get it anymore. A uh, deflated. Mm -hmm. it, it's just like your spirits. Oh, I like this. My my spirits are fine. <laughs> they are fine. Oh, another two hundred bucks. We're at twenty seven hundred and sixty dollars. I can't hear you. I'm too busy looking at all my mysteries. <laughs> um. Okay. So much math. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then I also have this little bicycle with a helmet. It includes a helmet. I'm probably gonna need a helmet after I demolish her so much and then she starts to retaliate. Mm. I'm gonna need that. Where is the UBC? It's $15. <laughs> There's no way this is $15. <laughs> While you're doing $15, I got another 120 bucks. I'm about to break $3,000 on this one right here. I'm at 20, $28.80 after that one. This could put me over $3,000, Jessica. $40. No, it's only 45 bucks. I got one more. <laughs> Do you hear me? It's only 45 bucks. <laughs> she gets excited over 45. I'm like, oh, it's only 45. <laughs> You better be careful, people are gonna I think know. you're braggy. I know, they are. This is usually not me. We brought up that she likes to be competitive, and she brought it out, and <laughs> I'm scanning I'm these being a LED sore winner. Half lights. You're doing great, baby. You're doing great. I'm at 29.25. Oh, how many are in there? Two. Oh, That's six, six bucks. Dollars. 11.24. I was not expecting that. Probably not. We this got some plates. I didn't even know this place sold plates. That, that's, 
We're not gonna hear this. Twenty nine forty and thirty seven. We are at twenty nine thirteen. We're gonna round up twenty nine eighty. Well, Jessica's figuring up her totals. I'm gonna continue on with my totals. One of at first, I thought this was a this is a Wagner stainer one. They're not as expensive as the Wagner paint one, but these are still good value. Just not as much as the Wagner. I think it's like thirty-seven fifty or twenty-seven fifty. Oh, it's still a hundred bucks. Still a hundred bucks. We're over three thousand. We're at a uh, three thousand and eighty dollars. Oh. We've got this Hoover vacuum cleaner. I guess it's not a vacuum cleaner. It's a handheld like carpet cleaner type thing, but you can use clean stairs, clean your couches, clean that type of thing. I wouldn't try to clean all of your carpets. You know, you can probably get some stains up here and there, but that's probably all I would try to do with it. But it is $115, uh, brand new condition. We've got this HomeWorks bathroom speaker right here. I like these, they sell well online or in our store. Another hundred dollars. That's crazy. This is one of those pallets where it's like, you don't get pallets like these very often for $700. Like this is a, a very rare type find. Very rare type find. But they're out there, you just gotta find them. All right, we've got a, like a master pack of these work lights right here. And we've got six of them in here. And they are selling for 16 bucks a piece. So uh, six times 15, that's another $85 right there. I think I've already had one of these. Yeah, it's right there. But I can't remember how much it was. I, I'm not very good with my memory on how much things cost. So I'm gonna have to scan it again. I also have another one of these little eight foot pools that we had before. And it would be so nice if I could remember how much all that costs. So 16, and this one was 30, all right? So I'm gonna keep those. They look exactly the same as the other ones. So we'll just go ahead and count those. Then I've got this pool. It's so cute. Look, they've got adults. They've got, they're so happy. It's like the happiest day of their life. And it's like, they barely fit in the pool. Like their knees are probably all touching, but they're, but they're a, so happy. They're having a great time. <laughs> and this is $25. Ooh, 25 bucks, right so, on. I'm happy with $25. You want me to scan any of those for you? No. Okay. You can do the math though, you can add. All right. Uh, this one is, so this is that pool cleaning kit. It's like, a, it's got the hose, oh. you know, you hook it up. You can vacuum the bottom of the pool because it'd be getting nasty sometimes. Um, but that one is uh, $40. All right. I'm running out of space with all of my stuff. I have so much stuff. You can start sitting right here behind us, Jessica. I have been a little, okay. but I'm just so wanting to, find something good that I just like setting it around me so I don't have to walk too far. Let's see, it says RFID on the outside. That's all it says, but I don't know if this box goes with whatever's inside. It doesn't because this is a uh, used pool skimmer <laughs> and a uh, pool vacuum majigger. Um, you know, the majiggers. Right, you know? the majigger. Everybody needs a majigger. Everybody. I know you told this me not to This is fifteen dollars. Give me my stuff back. I was just trying to help you. You should have picked even something. Scan it. I didn't even scan it. You, you didn't even know. You should have picked more stuff with <laughs> pallets with more stuff if you wanted to scan more stuff. Fifteen bucks. So that's thirty dollars in this one. This says Sunbelt Bakery, but I can bet you there are no baked goods in this. If there is then I'm gonna feel like an idiot, but I'm, I'm like willing to bet that it's not. Is there anything in here? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes there is. It's an Arctic, is there anything else? Okay, no. Arctic oh, Air we need Grip, that right now. Grip Pro. Arctic Air Grip <laughs> Pro. I, I tried to help her, she said no. 30 bucks. All right, so 210 bucks for that little, little round for you. 
And then this should be a shredder, but is it? I doubt it. Although you did get another paper like shredder already, I did hear you. I didn't see it, but I heard you talk about a it paper is, shredder. It is, but it's used. And then I made a joke about like shredding your uh, something. It is a shredder. It is. But it is, well, it might not be. I mean, it might just be dusty. Let me see. Well, it's got all the, the protective stuff inside, so it may not have been used. Right, but. But how much is it? How much is it worth? That's, that's the thing. There we go. We'll All scan right. it. I guess I could have finished up my real quick. I got sidetracked with hers. $78! All right, look there. Ah! She's up to two, two fifty five now. Two fifty five. dollars Look at her climbing a little bit at a time. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. I've only got four different items left in my palette. I've got uh, eight items overall, nine items, but four, five. Oh, that's heavy. Five of them uh, are the same light fixture, which could be a good thing or a bad thing as far as reselling, but for retail purposes, it's gonna be very easy to add up what uh, I'm at. So I'm at 35.80, I think is what I'm at. You'll know, we'll probably have something somewhere to show you, because at this point in time, I haven't been writing any of mine down. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm at 35.80, it could be more. But I've got a safe right here, a digital safe, a hundred, ooh, $140 retail. So we're at $35.80 and $140 is $37.20. I've got this ceiling fan right here. Another 85 bucks. So that's $3,800. We've got another LG microwave, which the one that we had earlier was a $200 one. And we'll see. And then this one is another $200. So we're at $4,000 with five light fixtures left. And if those are $200 lights, we could be at a $5,000 palette, which is crazy because that doesn't happen very often. Retail value or resale value, it could be a quadruple palette. But as far as retail value, like that's a lot of retail for $700. We hit the jackpot with this power. I've got this VTech phone. Now when you get stuff like this, like it's a return, right? And it'll say something like, don't work, right? Be careful with those, don't just assume. Because when you have stuff like this, a lot of times maybe somebody bought it, returned it and said, this doesn't work. And they'll write it on there, but it works just fine. So you make sure that you test these items too, especially if you're trying to sell them for as much as they're worth. Um, I also have this full motion uh, mount. It's like a TV mount. This thing is uh, selling for 24 bucks right there. So that's 36 and 24. I also have a lantern. You know, when you go camping, you gotta have a lamp. You gotta have a little bit of light. Just a little bit of light there. Let's scan that and see how much this dude's worth. 20 bucks right there. I've got a uh, junior snorkel combo right there. Um, and that is selling for 1040, 1048, 1040, mm-hmm, 1048. Um, and then I also have a, Joe would like this, but he can't have it because I'm mad at him. Uh, for choosing the better palette, obviously. Alrighty. It's one of those ones that has all this random plastic in it. You don't know if there's anything in it, but if you do, it's something real small. Oh my gosh, if there's nothing in here, I'm gonna be so sad. What is this? What is, what is this? <laughs> it's, it's a honeycomb. It is a Why is it upside down? Oh, it's broken. It is, oh, it's really broken now. I thought I was gonna fix it. I think you broke it more. We'll just count that as zero because yeah. it, it's... Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, there's something in this one, woohoo! And it's a remote control helicopter. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, I can't fly that though. I couldn't fly the drone if it didn't have so many safety features involved with it. 
and it's 20 bucks. So we're up to $200 for you for this go around. I've also got, I don't know what this is because there's so much stick. Oh, intelligent mosquito defense. It's a mosquito repellent item. $35 for this. $235 now, right on. I love that you can math so much. Right, right. And then this, I'm gonna scan it real quick. And it's a Cousinart seven piece complete chef. It's got all these little doohickeys in it. It's $14. All right, so 250 bucks. All the stuff, so we've got all this stuff here. I've got some more stuff in the back. I pulled these, I haven't counted these yet, but I pulled these. The highest item is that shredder. Um, I did also yeah. have this uh, uh, suitcase here and a bunch of smaller items. Majority of my items are going for somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars retail. Um, some some a little bit higher, some a little bit lower. Right now, I'm in this palette. I bought this palette for 600 dollars, but right now, for average retail price and everything, 15.69. So it's still not bad. It's not as amazing as Joe's palette. I got um, super lucky though. Yeah, I mean that's that's this would be more typical of a palette. Yeah. Um, his is kind of an anomaly. It's not it, something it's that, out there. It's not something that we would yeah. see all the time. This this seems more typical. So I understand that I might be getting my butt kicked. However, I do know that the palette that I chose was actually so far I would be happy with yeah. it. Yeah. I would be happy with this palette because a lot of this stuff would sell in our store and it's uh, a lot these are a lot of high ticket items on my palette and these are items that a lot more people would buy because they're fifteen dollars twenty five dollars thirty dollars uh items that are still going to sell well let's see right. you want to pull some stuff for me yeah i don't know uh since he's done with his palette this looks interesting i don't even want to show it to you all right here we go let's see um, this right here is $30. It's that an works. HD, it's an HD speaker set, I guess for, uh, I guess for a car is what it looks like. Yeah. Ta-da. Um, and then here is, oh, here's a Sony AV, AV receiver. It mimics your phone, so you can put that in your car too. That's going to be a, I wonder if that's going to be more than my, uh, shredder is. <laughs> the car stereo? Yeah, thing. this dude right here is $198. Ooh. Right on, right on. Thank you, 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 thank you. All right, there's that. Um, and then this dude is an LED, Honeywell LED outdoor string lights. I love the string lights. They're so in style right now and I love them so much. They're, they don't cost that much though, because these are $33. That's 250 bucks, they're right there between those three items. I know. This and one then, could be a, a nice one for you Monster as well. Monster Rock and Roller Portable right? Outdoor Wireless Speaker. Can y'all see it from the front? Yeah. There we go, we'll scan this dude. Let's see, it's heavy. It's super heavy. 277! Wow! Ooh. So 232, that's $600 just like that. Six. That's awesome. Dollars. Four items, 600 bucks. That's the thing about unboxing and buying liquidation is you could be thinking that that palette's like a total, like just a normal palette. And then out of nowhere, you get a couple items that are worth $500 between the two items. Uh, and it takes it from a good palette to a great palette. This, this put me at uh, $21.69. Just the, these four items right here brought me up six hundred dollars right um put me in the running it just depends on what's left all right all right so i went ahead and i just pulled all of the camping equipment up here and had joe help me with the math because i like it was a lot so cool thing is that like this one right here was like 160 what was it, 166 166 so and it's really nice it's really yeah. nice there um we also had these are stoves like propane stoves uh i've got a few of these uh wagons here um i also have another wagon back here this wagon that's a soccer goal oh isn't no i'm no, this sorry is the wagon. it's a wagon you're this, right this wagon here was 70 bucks so that was Super awesome. I know that Joe is pulling off $100 items and was really excited. <laughs> $70 is very exciting right. for me. And then all of these, uh, you know, obviously they would have to be tested, especially the ones that are open. You got to make sure that there's no holes in it or anything like that. Um, but these all right here. And then of course, I've also got this 40 pound dumbbell set. 
and dumbbell sets don't come cheap. So, all of the stuff on this table, $750, which was like when I right. finally added it all up, I was like, okay. You are starting to uh, okay. make a comeback. <laughs> you know, I was like, because, you know, I started with $2 little things and now I've got $750 of camping equipment here. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe I have a shot. But I also have all, a bunch of boxes of smaller items still, also. Um, and are they going to be full of $2 items? I don't know. So, but this was this was good. I'll I'll take this. All right. Alrighty. So I just did the math. Right now, I'm at two thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars. Wow. So only eleven hundred dollars <sighs> away from mine. With... Yes. And I'm feeling a little bit hopeful because. I don't know if I'm gonna beat you, but I'm giving you a run for your money because I just are. went through these boxes here and it was a lot of work. Uh, but, so I opened up this box. Was not super stoked about this. I mean, it's like a $40 life jacket, I think is right. what it was. But as I was going through, I was looking through all this stuff. I mean, you've got like the little car phone yeah. holder doohickey and then you've got this like really busted thing and I'm like oh my gosh right. what am I gonna do and then but I luckily thought, we're going retail value we are you know but I didn't feel comfortable I mean I just went ahead and did that 11 yeah 11 dollars there just because that's what right it was on. in retail um I also have you know little it's off brand right but it goes with xbox so that was a good I think 30 bucks I think is what it was um, and then I found this box here and you cannot tell what it is. You can just see that it's Sony. Sony. And I'm like, you know what? I have to figure it out. So I looked and there's like a little model number underneath these little yellow things. And right. I looked it up. These are $98 earbuds. And I was All like, right. score. Right so, on. Let me see where I was at that at the end of that. I was, uh, so that was, this whole box here was $216 okay. worth. Okay. So that puts um, you at 31, 31? 30, 30. 30, 30. 30, okay. 30. Yep. So there was that box. And I was like, that's awesome. Right. That's good. But then. She's catching up, y'all. I'm getting but nervous. Then, but then, but then, I looked at this one and I opened it up. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Scan the UPC. It is a Whirlpool dishwasher pump for $202. Wow. So 32, 32, 32. Yes, $32.32. Wow, so you're only $800 away, and you've got this box, uh, this box. I feel sick There's to another stuff. box over there, <laughs> and another box right there. Yes, but a lot of it's full of stuff like this one, okay? Right. So like, a lot of it is full of like, okay, so you got this stuff. It's not terrible, right? It's not terrible. Um, the best thing in, in this box was this $60 uh, Xbox. Controller. Remote controller. Good Lord, I'm it's a good there. one. That's I'm a good so name like brand. nervous that like right. I'm just gonna like completely like uh, yeah. I can't even talk anymore. You know, bubble. You've made it a game. You've made it a game. I know. And then I've got these. I don't know, like Adventures of Pinocchio. Right. Whatever. You know. And then I've got a headset here. It wasn't super pricey or anything. Uh, but I also got this cordless grill. grill right. Drill. It's not yes. a grill. It's a drill. Um, so I got all of that. So, but ultimately the Xbox controller was the most expensive item in this box, and uh, it was about one hundred and ninety dollars. So it wasn't right super on. big, but that's thirty four twenty two now. Thirty four twenty two. Yes, and then this one was wow. about the same. I'm getting so, nervous. So this one here, I have. Uh, this was the winner. I put it on top because I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> this is a mosquito hammock. So it's a hammock right. with a mosquito net on it, which is really cool. Forty two dollars. If that tells you anything about the rest of this box, this was my high value item. Um, I didn't even count this because I don't know what it is and it's broken anyway. Okay. So I didn't count that. Um, this is a busted tote bag. Beach bag. Yeah. So I didn't count that either. There's a fan in here. It's like a $20 just basic household yeah. oscillating fan. Um, a loft bed tent. Uh, mosquito repellent, which is really nice this time of year. Love that. I love that for us. Um, and then also, I got a six packs of these, and they were two dollars a piece. And I was right. like, "Thank you, six dollars." <laughs> you know? um, so I have those as well. Let me see how much this box was worth. I don't remember numbers very well, so y'all are gonna. Have you're to good. You're me. good. But that was a two hundred dollar box. So okay. Thirty six twenty two. Thirty six twenty two. So you are within so three hundred and seventy eight dollars. At least. 
I didn't just completely like You bust. did not. You did not. I didn't completely bust. You and have I made was, a respectable comeback and now I'm nervous. You know because, what? Even if I don't win, right? the fact that, because when I was pulling out those $2 little uh, solar light yeah. things, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm never going to be able to show my face in liquidation ever again uh, right. for choosing that palette. But now I'm like, you know what? It doesn't even matter what happens. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so you've got three boxes and a and then I've got five boxes. So let's do my boxes real quick and see where I'm at. And then we'll do hers and see if she can overtake me. Cause it's, it's close now y'all, it's close. <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly head. nervous, I like, but I feel, like <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pull this out. All right, so we've got five of these lights left. Before I get into that to see how much this is worth, how much the fiber worth, We've got all of this in this massive pile over here, $4,000 retail. This palette was $699. So that's incredible. Almost everything in here was over $100, $200. We had five of these new tone bathroom uh, thingies, the light fixtures, fans. They were $200 a piece. Had this safe, it was, it's still sweet. I don't know exactly how much it was, a hundred <laughs> something dollars. Everything was like a hundred dollars in here. All this, this backpack tank, it was like 115 bucks. You get my drift. It was all like hundreds of dollars stuff. And then this microwave back here, we had two of these that were $200 a piece on sale. And I'm gonna be mad if I lose by like a hundred dollars or something, because those are on sale. They're normally $250. <laughs> <laughs> right, but four thousand dollars. Jessica is within four hundred dollars of me, and these lights could give me a humongous lead or a small lead with her remaining boxes left. So, where's the UPC? On the bottom. I On see it. On the bottom. All right. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> And remember, we have five of these, or I do, five of these lights at $109. So that's only $545. So that is $4,545. Ooh, ooh. This is gonna be close. <laughs> this is gonna be super, super close. Uh, I don't feel good with a $545 lead. I guess it's almost a $900 lead with her look, we haven't, boxes, we ha especially with the value that she's been getting out of the last couple boxes. I'm nervous. Man, I'm nervous. I didn't think I would be nervous like this because I was winning by so much. Oh, that's You're, why unboxing is like a roller coaster. So that puts uh, you at what, 45? 45, 45. Okay, so I gotta beat 45, 45. Right? All right. And actually, you have $100 because it's the most, the retail value, right? Because it's a, you gotta minus the price that we paid oh, for Oh, that's it, true. Right? So I'm $845 ahead. That's okay. not too, that's not enough. That's not enough. I don't know, we'll see. All right. It's the moment of truth, Jessica. You have three boxes left. Hold on, I just gotta left hold on. <laughs> with lots and lots of stuff. I am too competitive for this game. Why did we right? do this? Why did we do this? Right. Okay, so, okay, hold on. I'm like, I'm sorry. Y'all are following me around. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just, okay. All right, so this box, uh, you know, not, not, the most interesting of boxes. However, uh, you know, cause you go in here and you've got, I mean, back. I didn't mean to throw you, I'm sorry. I'm just, anyway, okay, that, I'm a mess. I am a you mess, y'all. You could have just broke that and it could have just cost you the, uh, the whole thing. Personal fan, things like that. Okay, the two most important things you need to know about this box is that I have these JBL headphones for $45 and this Nintendo Switch retails for about 25, all right? So everything in this box, including all the small yeah. gadgets and things like that is $215, okay? 215, so 215. If you, if you remember, I stopped at uh, $3,622, right? All right. So now with the 215, I'm at 3,837. Right, and with the, the price differential, you really just need to get to 4446 to be so the winner. So remember what he's what he's referencing is that he paid $699 for his palette. 
I only paid 600 so when we were when we cut that price down I I have a hundred dollar lead already so, yeah yeah okay, so there's that one I'm gonna pull that down there okay ah! okay sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay um, all right so this box all right let me show let me see okay let me show you. All right, so in this box, this box was really big. So I was, you know, it was kind of exciting because I was like, okay, is it gonna be really good or really bad? It's somewhere in the middle, all right? Um, so we've got the, uh, we've got a bunch of these, like this is one of those one piece, one side, headphone, Airphone, mouthpiece. Headphone. Yeah, 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 yep, yep. And then you got stuff like this, like a spinner thing set. It looks like all the pieces were still in there. A uh, the, uh, couple of these, mini air, Cooler, personal AC, air cooler. Like I think I need AC. one of these. Right on. Uh, but the two big items that I want you to know about is the Xbox uh, gaming headset, um, which was 65, and where are you? Don't. Y'all, I almost, I almost freaked out because. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find these. I had priced them and I couldn't find them. They're a hundred dollar Sony headphones, okay? So I need every dollar that I can get. I didn't do um, it, y'all. I didn't hide them. I was I was really about to be like, <laughs> I was really about to be like, you're sabotaging me. Right. Um, anyway, so this is a hundred dollar Sony headphones. That makes this entire box three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. So where are we at now? That um, would put me hold on, I did the math already so that I would know. Uh Four thousand one hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Okay. All right, so, so you you're need at forty-five, forty-five. Right, but it's actually forty-four eighty-six is what you need. Forty-four eighty-six. So you just need roughly three hundred dollars out of this right. box right here. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking I can't possibly think of what this is. This is my. I need to take you guys through my emotions at this point in time, okay? Because I got one box left. I need to price these items, right? I open the box and I find these. And I'm like, what, what is this? And I'm like, there's no way. So I, I'm gonna cry, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna cry. So I go through and I scan, I, I, I had to do some research to find out what they were, okay? And I'm gonna show you this uh, screenshot because you're not gonna believe me, okay? But these are $25 a piece. They are connecting pieces. I looked, I'm like, surely it's a set. Surely it's for the box. No, I looked, I looked at the description. The, this thing is $25 and I have all of these, okay? How many are there? Count them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 times 25. Well, 25 times 20 is 450 minus 50 bucks. That's 400 bucks. So you just beat me. 400, 450. Wait, did I count wrong? 18 times okay. 25. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. No, you beat me. That's uh, 400 bucks right there. Because, yeah. So you beat me by $13. Isn't that right? Yeah. 13 bucks you beat me by. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I, we I, went by straight retail value. Ow. Oh yeah, okay, let's explain it. Yeah. Let's so, explain it away. <laughs> <laughs> One, <laughs> I gave her more time. She didn't even pick a pallet within the allotted time. <laughs> but she did win. The goal was retail value and she won. So Jessica, congratulations. I don't, I don't know how I won. You won. Uh, I don't know. I you do have a lot of items. Before you stop, right. you go. Okay. You know, I know people are gonna see this in the background and I, I just wanna explain why I did not count this, okay? So this came on a pallet, okay? And for those of you who are not used to watching us at the Family Flips, this is something that we always do, okay? So we're parents. We take our children's safety very, very seriously. And if we cannot prove without a doubt that this car seat has not been used, um, then we don't sell it. Because um, any, any accident that it could have been in, whether small, even if it's a fender bender, it automatically cancels the safety of the car seat. There could be small, minute cracks in the frame that no longer make it safe. So I looked at this, I saw um, I saw some staining, right? It looks like it's been adjusted for a child, right? So there's, there's no way for me to know what has happened to this car seat. Has it been in an accident? How long has it been out? 
what caused them to return it. And for that reason, as much as I wanted to win um, and I didn't think I was going to, um, I could not possibly have counted this and like just for my own moral safety, like I just, I couldn't do it. So this would, this would have been, this is a zero for me just because that's one of the principles that we stand by. So. Right. It's better to be safe than to get a couple extra dollars. I'm not gonna be responsible dollars. for somebody's child getting, right. getting hurt just to make a quick dollar. So yep. that was a zero. So, Jessica won. I don't uh, know. She won uh, <laughs> by eighty-seven dollars uh, retail value. So, congratulations, Jessica. Uh, I would say if we're going by resale value, mine's probably hands down the winner. But that just goes to show you with liquidation that every pallet program that you can purchase has a place. In, in reselling. So for those of you who don't know the difference between retail value and resale value, right? So what we did is we scanned these items on the sites from which these programs came from. And we got the value that it would have been in store. Now resale value is different. There's a lot of things right. that go into resale value. So basically how much money would we make if we sold these items? So that includes, you know, shipping, fees like if we sold on ebay there's fees right. and stuff like that your geographic also, location how you sell where you sell all of those things determines the resale and value. that makes that much much lower so would we make four grand on each of these pallets no. if we were to sell them absolutely not so we did retail value just for just right. to make things straight across the board but you know I, honestly i think with with well with this one we could easily double to triple yeah. our money this one i think we could probably make 50 to 100 percent yeah profit. probably right around I'd say. I'd say we if six hundred dollars I could easily see this this pallet for us how we sell we could easily make five hundred dollars in profit yeah. off of a pallet like that yeah so I just wanted to make that clear because I yeah. know that some of you haven't seen our channel before and I wanted to make sure that you guys understood why we did what we did and where these numbers are coming from right on. So, uh, we hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing yes. as much as we have enjoyed filming it. We thank you guys so much for coming, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.